Hey, I'm Jugo Busby, and in this video I'll be unboxing and a quick review of the Stabilo S-Move pen. Basically my handwriting has been terrible since year 4. I tried to join a handwriting class, she said it was, wasn't that bad. And then it turned out I actually got a scribe in year 6 in my sats because my handwriting was that bad, no one could actually read it. Anyway, then I discovered this pen. Now, this is the old version, this is the S-Moves, is the new version, but the easy original was the one I first got. I got this pen back in year 7, and this pen improved my handwriting in under a week. I went from being scruffiest handwriting in school, maybe, uh, straight up to, like, not exactly the best, but not exactly the worst. If I take my time, it can be the best. It can be really good. I can actually put a lot of effort in, and it's very easy to use. Now, the main reason this is, is because of this grip that is on it. Now, this at the moment is the S-Move pen. So if I just grab the original uh, that I've had since year 7, and you can tell it's the original because of the pen lid. So this is the new pen lid, and then this is the... No, this is the old one, this is the new one. So, this pen cost me 6 99 and it said that it would improve my handwriting. So, I thought, well, I'm going to try anything. I bought a lot of different pens. I bought triangle ones, I think it was really round ones, perfectly round ones. I spent a lot of money trying to get a decent pen. This is the very last one I bought, and I went through about 50 different pens trying to find a decent one. Now everyone was saying it was just a placebo that I thought with this good grip I could do great handwriting, but it wasn't. When I literally held this pen, got it out, and then I put a different different refill in from a different pen, and it was completely different. So it's not just the grip that helps, it's the little rest here that goes on there, that feels great. The grip feels great. The actual refill itself, the ink inside it feels great on pieces of paper. And then the lid itself in this hand just feels something I can just, you know, stress ball sort of thing, even though it's not. Then it turns out this pen is actually kind of erasable. With the new ones, I got this little, like a, I don't know, 0.88 little rubber thing. You take the blood off and you colour it, and it's like Tipex, but not. And once you leave it to dry, you can write back on it again. So it is like Tipex, but a bit more portable. So then I found out that the grip became very sweaty, and that was because I have sweaty hands. <laughs> so this led to the rubber end getting all sticky and sweaty and stuff which meant I had to keep on drying it every now and again, which in the exam makes a lot of noise and it's not very handy. Which wasn't a big deal to me, I wasn't asked. It's my exam, if I do bad in it, I do bad in it. If I do good in it, I do good in it. So everyone else was complaining, but I'm not asked. Then this pen started to get a bit wrecked. My, I had a black ink pen that got wrecked in my pocket, the ink went everywhere inside my blazer. Put this in, not thinking about anything, and the whole back of it got covered in ink. So I bought another one. This was another six pound, it put me down. And I bummed off that <clears throat> for like the whole of year nine, and that was that was kind of it. I didn't have to. I just had to keep on buying refills, which is the best part about it. I found this great place on Amazon where I could get three reels, three refills for one pound fifty, which the refills, depending on what happens, last me about two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe a month, up to a month, if I'm careful with them. But because it's such a good pen, everyone wants to try and nick it, so you know they throw it around and all that kind of thing, and that ends up with the refills breaking which means it sets me back about 50p, so I'm not really that arsed. But if it's someone who gets really annoying, I'll just get them to pay for me, so, yeah. So then I went on eBay the other day, because I've got an eBay account now, and I found out that you can buy these new S-Move pens for £7 a piece. So, I hadn't seen the Easy Original ones for ages, and I thought these S-Move ones were completely different. But then I watched a few videos, checked out the images, and it turns out they're exactly the same, except they've got a new lid. Which looks crap, by the way. So if Stabilo are watching this, change your lids. <laughs> so, then I went onto eBay again, and did a lot more research, did some advanced searches, and it turns out I could actually buy four of these for £9. Now, this is because they were sort of pre-owned, as in someone had bought them in a lump sum, and tried selling them individually for £6. Turns out they couldn't sell them, so they sold them in bulk four for £9. So, normally four pens would cost me £28, well £27.96, and to be able to get that for £9 is a great deal, so I didn't hesitate, I ordered it straight away, and it came within a week, which is good, even though it was eBay, on like second class postage as well. Then I did the unboxing, which you can see in this video, and they are very, very good, and I'm very impressed with these pens. If you have struggling, if you are struggling with your handwriting, or you want a new pen to go with, you want something nice and easy, you can just buy refills, you have to keep on buying new pens, because that's really a big deal these days, and it saves and all these plastics that you have to keep on making. 
I would highly recommend the S-Move pen, and if you can find them, I'd get the easy original pen and tell me where the link is, because I would love this pen back. The lid is brilliant. I've, this lid's been the same one from since year seven, uh, so it's like a four-year-old lid, and it's still the best one. I've, still the best one I've got. <clears throat> Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Basically, these are just so easy to write with. I think you should try them out. Just try one. Just buy one for £7. Or I'll order a few and send them here. Do a giveaway if you want. If you'd like to see a giveaway of these pens, even though it's just a pen, just comment below. You can always get black refills if you're doing a mock exam. You have to write in black. These are blue refills, but you can always get black ones, which I'll probably do for my real exams in May. Thank you for watching this video. Check out my other ones, obviously. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,